Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use toggle button for multiple selections. You see that if you go to material UI website, we have here the example of bold italic and underline by using multiple selection. So we take this example practically how we can implement it in react with material UI example. So for that we go here and we have a toggle button style and here I just try to implement the example. So here I say typography typography and here I import this typography from we have MUI material UI and here in this typography I say the variant is h3 and here I type that toggle button multiple selection save this and I try to run this application also so that we can see at runtime live the formatting of this now we should have the toggle button here so I just say toggle button group like this and I have to import this also so I say toggle button group like this and I should import toggle button also like this now we have a output like this so I change this h3 to h4 or 5 save this now we have like this toggle button multiple selection now we have to change it to h4 save this right like this and now I have to change it to the center so I say allison to center save this now it is coming in center also now under the toggle buttons group I should create toggle buttons so I say here toggle button and here I take toggle button so I say toggle button like that and here I need to provide the icons also so for that you see that we should see this coding here we have these icon format bold icon italic icon underline icon so these icon we have we can import from here also or otherwise we can go to icon and there we can import this so i copy this because these are the material icons that i required here then i should import these icon first of all paste it and save so these icons we can use so first of all i use here so here i say bold so i say format bold icon like that now i should provide here the value if you select it it will become bold and we should give aria label aria label so we say aria label is also bold so one thing we did then i copy this and i paste two more time so here in place of bold i say italic and here i say underline that is underlined so d is also required save this in place of this bold i needed italic here also the aria label should be italic here we say underline here also we say underline save this so if we now we see the output we have like this and uh, we can also pass here uh, the value which we want the value would be of i say format and uh, on change event we will fire and here i say uh, change format this function will execute and i say sx also to provide some margin so i say margin from top i need to save this so right now i have to create these variables state variables so i say const and here i say format and i say set format and remember that this is for multiple selection this is array so i say use state and this use state i say it is empty array right now now i need to uh, create this function also so i say const and i say change format like that this function 
have two parameter first is event second is the value you select so we say select value and here I say set format and here I pass select value that we want to insert and not only that we have to create empty object also so I say const and I say format style that we require and this object have three property uh, first is uh, font weight and that is empty right now and then we have font style and that is also empty right now and last one is text decoration text decoration that is also empty right now save that and uh, we can pass this here also if we want but it is an array so don't, don't pass here so this is the value which we require to change on the basis of the selection so uh, this is format style now uh, I should provide color also to these toggle buttons so I say color is equal to I say success means green color we can provide save this and we see this type of thing if I select it it will become green you see it has become green but we have to use it for our purpose so uh, in place of success I can say it is to uh, error also error means the red color so we say error color now I click it become red yes it has become red so this is red now what I need I need to uh, create a text and that will change so I say typography here I say variant variant is body body 1 and here I say uh, sx means for style of this here I pass format style format style I will pass uh, uh, but this is the array I will pass a function so I say get format style function I will use for this get format style and uh, under this I need this function so here I want to display some text so I say lorem multiply by 2 tab and automatically I will have some text here like this so that's that text we will change accordingly so we have to make a coding of set format style so now what I do I just hit another function I say get format style this function what we have uh, I have a for loop under this for loop I say let i equal to 0 i less than format dot length number of item is available here and plus plus and I say if the format the value in format is equal to equal to bold now I should return I should return a object with have all the value that is predefined in format style and I need additional value that would be a font bold so I say font weight and that would be of bold like this similarly I just copy and paste and paste so I can say if there is a italic so I said font style equal to italic here I say underline that would be text decoration and here I check if there is a underline selection save this I think we done now uh, we have toggle button also here in toggle button we have these value 
and uh, we have this also now try to check it now you see we have this font i click here bold is convert into bold i click italic so italic is not working right now then i click underline underline is not working also but individually they are working you see if i if i remove all italic is also converting but together they are not working so we should check this also so you see that uh, we have this condition and then what i do i just uh, i just written here format style and uh, i just uh, remove from here the return value what i do i just paste this and here i paste it and i remove it from return so i say format style is equal to this now uh, this is constant so i need to change it to variable so i say let save this now again i need uh, this also so i say else if and here also i just uh, change it to cut here paste here uh, in place of return i say it is format style then last one so again i say else if and uh, here also i start this bracket and here also i cut this paste this remove the return and i say format style equal to now everything we done here then at the last we return so it will merge all the setting now everything will work you see bold is also working italic is also working underline is also working you see that we have everything is working that is multiple selection using toggle button in material ui you see each and everything is working properly so like that way you can use toggle button in your react application if you are using material ui uh, that's all in this video in next video we will see how we can use a exclusive selection here we here you see that we have a multiple selection and this is the array but in next video we will see that it is a single value how we just change it to single value in place of array and how we can create uh, this application because it's a multiple selection now we will see this left right justification how we can make this application in working mode by using exclusive selections property or element in toggle button group so that's all in this video if you like this please do subscribe thank you for watching this video